Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to do a short video for you here. And this one might actually help you if you want to record on a dual PC or off a Xbox One, in my case, and you have that problem with your screen tearing if you're recording or streaming. And it took me a while to actually find a video to actually like, how do I stop screen tearing? So I'm actually making a video for you. And so how do you actually stop screen tearing is you probably already know how to hook up video so you can have audio video from a secondary outsourced like console or a secondary PC is you have to like get a USB video or you're straight from HDMI. Usually that would work, but you still have the problem with screen tearing. So how I solved my problem is I'm actually going to show you. So currently I have Halo Infinite on my Xbox One X and you don't really see it, but there actually is some screen tearing. So how I get rid of this is I open up OBS, which I already have and I already have it connected is then I'm going to property. So you're going to select your capture device, which you probably have already set up. So how you set it up is you add a new source, like you're adding a display and you're going to capture. And you basically, you probably already know how to add this. And so you're going to select your device, go to properties. Then you're going to click device, which is going to be USB video for me or whatever you have, whether it be HDMI port or a USB, you're going to have that selected and you should probably have this already opened. Then you're going to go down and it says revolution, resolution and FPS type. And then there is device default is by itself. Usually this would work sometimes, but doing with some settings, it does not work. So you're going to click that, you're going to custom and you can set your resolution scale to whatever you preferences. And what mainly is going to help you is your FPS. That is what's going to cause your screen tearing no matter what. And this actually helps the biggest chance of actually fixing it. So usually it would just design it by a whatever default you have. I would really set it to 60 or highest FPS you can do. It also depends on what your streaming PC or recorded PC can do. So usually 60 or mount output FPS would actually work. I'm going to set it to 60 and this should get rid of your screen tearing problems. So please leave a like and subscribe if this was helpful for you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.